one come out to the Minecraft found Jimmy Swift skills will drive you wild From a treehouse to a city bank It's the Minecraft Files all day right, That was a good one, I like that one a lot Hey, what's going on Swifters, it's Jimmy Swift here and welcome to the Minecraft Files. This is episode 52 in season 3 and today is also Friday which means it's TQF. Which if you don't know what that stands for, if you're new to the channel or new to the series, first of all welcome. Second of all, TQF stands for Triple Question Friday and that is where, I guess now because I'm doing this, I've been doing this last couple weeks, during the episode instead of after the episode. But during the episode I'm answering three questions from my audience um, about whatever. So. What we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be introducing to you guys to uh, some oh no you saw it no some new things that I've done on in the Sky District as well as introducing some new friends and characters that are going to be in this world as well. So let's go ahead and do that. But before we get officially started, I just want to say that congratulations to all of you guys for getting the previous uh, episode of the Minecraft Files, Wednesday's episode, got over 5,000 likes, and you guys are going to get a bonus episode of the Minecraft Files. It's going to be uploaded to Machinima Realm. I've already done it. I've already sent it in. It is, um, I don't know when it's going to be uploaded, but I will let you guys know for sure when it does. So congratulations, and of course, because today is TQF as well, uh, today is the day every week where I ask you guys to leave just as much likes and comments as possible um, and of course oh there we go there's the thing <laughs> this is what I built but um but uh, yeah so anyways so yes TQF big important day of the week and um, make sure you guys leave all of your questions and comments for next Friday's episode because I'll be answering those next Friday so what I'm going to go ahead and do here today, the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is I actually hopped on this world onto a server. I added some, I gave myself some, some spawn villager eggs and I'm going to be adding in my villagers today. So, the sky district is not yet complete. Uh, I'm still working on it. I added another booth over here, identical to this one. And then this thing right here, which is Sal's potions. I don't know if you can see that. Sal, S-A-L, it's a name. And um, inside here, we've got the potion shop um, where our villager will sell, allegedly, some potions. And we've got another floor up here that I have not done anything with yet. Um, but I really like this, this how this build came out. And guys, I spent probably three or four hours uh, prepping for this episode, just this one episode today. Yes, building this, but also... Um, working on a few other things mostly a lot of it was just like collecting more wood and stuff and whatnot over here we have Arthur's fruit stand and I've set sort of prices for everything as well so N is gonna be the currency and that stands for nugget so like a golden nugget um, and uh, melons are worth one and apples are three um, in here we have Liana's fishing supply store and you can see here there's fishing poles or six nuggets string is one nugget each and sticks are free hooray over here we have Baxter's trade stand I have not put a like uh, currency exchange out here yet but enough of me talking let's go ahead and get these guys all spawned in so there we go hey what's up my name is Arthur <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Arthur? Hey, pal. All right, and these guys are just going to sort of live in my village with me, um, which is going to be really, really fun. And let me see if I can get this one to spawn in. There you go. That's Liana, unfortunately. It looks like a man. But, uh, yeah, there you go. Now we're going to spawn in... S oh, we got to do Baxter. So let's, put, let's uh, put Baxter in the mix. There you go. So this is Baxter. And, of course, they all look the same. And at a later date, I will add in also the um, the NPC villagers down um, to the shops down below that have the, uh, or the houses that have the, the snow golems in them. Um, and this is going to be Sal. Hold on. we got to get Sal in here. Sal's the man. Sal, what's up, Sal? What's going on, bro? You're my pal, Sal. All right. <laughs> all right. So, that's not all we're doing today, actually. What else I, what I also wanted to do as well was... Um, I wanted to, uh, oh, we could also, hold on, we could also actually add more, because I gave myself enough of these. Um, the bar up here, they can jump, they can, like, sort of jump like this. 
So I might need to block that off. Um, Cause it'd be really cool to sort of like start to make this whole village come to life. I think that'd be cool. I think it'd be really freaking cool actually. Um, so let's go ahead and do I want to do that or I don't know. I don't know, but we are going to build something today too. So not to worry. Do not worry. Uh, I'm going to build at least start a build on something small. Um, for right now, I'm going to leave these like that. Nobody can get in or out, obviously, and I don't think that they can activate um, these hatches. At least not yet. Not in this update. Um, but if you missed the snapshot update that Jeb just released, here, bartender number one, yeah, and bartender number two. If you, oh, that door's open. If you missed the snapshot that Jeb released, uh, I did a video on it. It's actually featured on my channel right now, at least until this video comes out, because this video is awesome, and I know you guys are going to support this one like super duper crazy, and, um, <laughs> and, uh, but anyways, check that out. I did a whole snapshot thingy on, um, on, uh, on, on the new update, uh, 12W03A or something, but you can climb vines, they added jungle biomes and whatnot. It's really freaking cool. So, what we're gonna do now, now that we've got all that squared away, is oh no, wait, 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 wait. we need one more, we need one more guy. I keep forgetting. Downstairs, the 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 receptionist. And now this is what what's making me a little upset is that like they are only one type of NPC villager, which is kind of poopy. Uh, I wish that there were a few other types that, that would like either randomly spawn in or whatever, but maybe they'll add a few more like different types because, and you know, I'll have to commit murder um, and, and give them because like, look, I mean, I think they should add female ones, you know, like Liana in there. That's a girl's name. She could be a female. So what I'm going to do today is we're going to build um, something and somebody had commented on my last video saying that there's just too much wood and I agree. I sort of default to wood because um, I'm comfortable building with it. I know sort of how to mix and match or I feel like I know how to mix and match the like um, you know the 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 wooden um, logs with the wooden planks and whatnot. Um, but I'm gonna try this video and do something a little bit different. Now I do want to keep the same style that I've been using this kind of I sort of taught you guys how to do this when I was building the tavern. This kind of um, support beam here, you put a piece around it. It kind of gives a really nice dimension. It's basically what this tavern looks like, as well as the unnamed building over here, which I think a lot of people wanted me to turn into a hotel. So I might do that, but I'm going to try and do that with some stone slash stone brick here, and we'll see how it turns out. I don't really know how it's going to turn out, but hopefully it'll be okay. So let's try with the stone brick. And I'm going to do four, um, let's go, I don't know how many spaces we want. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Four like that. Although, wait, that's going to be like the exact same size as this building. I don't know if I want it to be that big. Um, one, two, three, four, five, maybe? That could work. Also, um, while I was working on things today, oh, the sun is going down, are you kidding me? Uh, while I was working on things today, my diamond, enchanted diamond pick broke. So I made a new one and enchanted it again with another enchantment. And this one gave me efficiency of level two. So, um, yeah, not too bad. I luckily have enough diamonds from the, uh, the branch mining uh, technique that I showed you guys uh, earlier in the season. Um, that I was able to make some more, uh, another diamond pick, and had enough experience points to do that as well. Now, unfortunately, when I, I think my experience went down to like level two or something, so it wasn't a big deal. But when I loaded this world into the server to get those uh, spawn eggs, and then loaded it back into the uh, the normal world. Um, my uh, my experience orbs because my spawn like reset or something, um, they uh, they went back down to zero. So I'm at level zero again. So um, bit unfortunate, but what can you do? Nothing. You can do nothing. All right. So I don't know what we want to build this. Maybe let's build this one smaller. I was gonna build it the same length as this one, but I don't really see the point, uh, especially because I'm gonna try and fit this into one video. So. Let's count here. We'll do one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven. What's that look like? Like a little bit smaller than that? Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Four. Oh wait, did I go too high? I went too high. Give me that back. Okay. All right. Let's do. Is that here? Yes. Okay. So now that we've got that there, uh, let's. I guess use. We could use cobblestone because I have a ton of it. Um, and we'll go around it like this. Oh, the misplaced block. Every episode there is one. Every single episode. But yeah, for anybody that's new to the series, uh, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I know I get a lot of new subscribers every single day, and I have to believe that a lot of you guys watch this series. Um, well, I know a lot of you guys watch it, but I'm sure a lot of people subscribe for it. Uh, just because, like I've said before, it is my most popular series. Um, but um, if you... Uh, if you have been skeptical about joining, because I know, like, okay, have you ever seen a show on TV and you're like, oh, man, it's already in, like, the third season or whatever. I don't know what to watch. Like, I don't want to go back and watch everything. This isn't that type of show. You can pick up anywhere at any time. Um, of course, if you miss things, you can always go back. I keep it in a very organized show format for you guys in case you do, you know, um, miss something or whatever. Um... But, uh, but yeah, it's very, very easy to, to pick up again and, uh, and begin watching um, or even just jump into right in the middle, which is awesome, super, super cool, and I like having that, um, you know, not having it be like every episode, you know, kind of is dependent on the previous episode. If you miss one, you're out of the loop. I don't like having this show like that. So anyways, before we get any further, I'm going to take the first question in TQF, and this question comes from Icy Ash, who asks, could you tell us your love story with Miss Swift, how you met, got together, and stuff? Um, well, a lot of that is like uh, pr pretty private to me. I, I don't really like sharing a lot of my private life um, with just the general internet, but I can tell you this much and say yeah. that um, we met in college um, at a, like, this is going to be weird, but it was at like a gaming party, and they were playing Mario Kart there. And um, we ended up playing each other in Mario Kart. She beat me. Uh, I know, she beat me. And um, we just sort of uh, started talking after that, started hanging out. And um, things just kind of went from there. So, uh, yeah, it worked out. And we've been together for, I think, almost five years now. So, um, all right, I'm trying to figure out here on this building what the heck I want to, like, how I want to build this. Because I'm, I'm feeling a little stuck right now. A little stuck. Uh, I'm trying to think. Because I don't want to do like... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. Because I want to make this like a one-floored, like little just like hut house thing. Uh, maybe for another villager or myself or whatever. But I'm going to get rid of all this cobblestone around this part of it. And we're going we're gonna to replace it with stone steps. Um... Which, as you can see, this pick is like just blasting through the the um, the cobblestone because it's got that efficiency um, enchantment on it. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and throw down this workbench right here, and we're gonna start making some stone steps. And we're gonna put these around the outside. And um, I'm almost part of me is like kind of regretting the uh, having the, like the sky district sort of pier boardwalk thing just be all wood because uh i would love to add like a fireplace to some of these houses but i do not want like the um the the whole boardwalk to to just burn down burn to the ground and that would be super tragic and of course like everything up here is wood and uh it would just be really really depressing but speaking of which and speaking of like backups and all that stuff uh i will be i will be also updating the the world download i think i'm going to try and do that for you guys every friday um and that the link is always in the description of the video uh to download this world so if you ever do want to download the world uh and play in it um it's all it's going to always be in the description um if it's it may or may not be updated but i'm going to try and keep it updated uh, or update it every friday so I do use Mediafire to upload those worlds for you guys, and those do you're able to download them from Mediafire. 
Um, just really hoping that in the wake of like ho that whole mega upload thing uh, with yesterday, how like the uh, they you know took down the U.S. government, I guess took down mega upload, not because of SOPA. They used already existing laws to take it down. They didn't you know they didn't say oh SOPA you guys were against SOPA and whatever. They didn't do that. They just they took it down using already existing laws um, due to. Uh, you know, claims of like, I guess, uh, you know, um, piracy and, and, and whatnot. So, um, so yeah, that's, uh, here, I need this, I need this workbench. Uh, but hopefully like uh, and the web website like Mediafire won't go down or something because I use that. I know a lot of people use that. A lot of, uh, a lot of mod people use that as well for uh, downloading mods and stuff within Minecraft. That would really kind of shake up the Minecraft community, I think, because I don't really think that many people use Mega Upload. Let's be honest. At least not within this community. So, I don't know. I was just felt, felt like Mega Upload was a little sketch. Just felt kind of sketch, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, um, all right. So, now what I'm going to do is we're going to continue with... Wait. No, no, no. Do I want to do that? No, I don't. I don't. I don't. Uh... How do I want to build this? Ah, ah. Uh, I guess I will do something like this. And I'm going to need a lot more of these. Actually, let me think about this for a second. Do I want, do I want the cobblestone ones or do I want the regular stone ones? I'm not sure. Not sure. But... For you guys, along with leaving in your comments um, for questions for next Friday for me to answer on TQF, I want you guys to um, do two things in this video. Two things. Um, in terms of comments, of, of course, of course, leave your like below. That's always. But for this video, the building that I'm building right now, I need a name for it. Um, I want to know what kind of a store it should be. Because I think, you know what, I think I should just make it a store. We can build the houses and stuff later. I think I should make it a store. So, the, the two things that I want you guys to tell me in the comment section is what kind of store you want it to be, and then the name of the store. But within the name of the store, I want you to include the name of the NPC villager that you want to have the store named after. So, like over here is Sal's Potions. And... Um, you know, maybe you guys want the, I don't know, just tell me what you, tell me what you think that this, this store should be named and who should run it, the NPC villager that should run it. So leave that in the comment section below as well. And I think I like these, these stone ones better. So we're going to do that instead. And let's take these down. Oh, yeah. All right. Come on, get on there. There we go. Um, and now it gets tricky because we gotta do something like this, and we gotta start multiplying. And I wish there was just a freaking stone, like of just a regular block like that, but then it would be complicated and so on and so forth. Oh, so yeah. Anyways, but those of you guys that have checked out my my brand new Sonic Let's Play, I'm playing Sonic Three and Knuckles. Um, it's a lot of fun. And I think that those of you guys that are watching it are enjoying it a lot as well. Um, but, uh, but yeah, if you have not checked that out, make sure you guys do so. And um, I do strongly encourage you guys to sort of broaden your horizons and go beyond Minecraft. Because I know there are a lot of people that, that do just watch Minecraft. And that's completely fine. Like, I have nothing against that. But for those of you guys that, um, that you know, may have just, like, been bored one day and you just start, you're like, ah, oh, man, this... Chimney's always uploading videos on this series. I wonder what it's about. And you just sort of jump into it. I definitely admire those people because you definitely takes, you know, uh, it takes you out of your, your, your shell, out of your comfort zone. And who knows, you might really, really enjoy a series. Um, I would encourage everyone to at least just try and give, like, whether it's me or any other commentator, um, if there's, like, a new series or something on their channel uh, or a new game that you've never seen before or something, or even just an old game like Sonic you know, Sonic 3 or whatever, um, definitely just give it a chance, give it a shot, and see if it's something that, that you might be interested in, especially at least the first episode, so you can kind of get a feel for, um, you know, if it's something you want to watch or not. 
if it's not, then then don't watch it. But I think it's it's good to give because I do that with people that I watch too. Like um, you know, I'll check out like uh, Paul does a lot of um, Paul Sears Jr. does a lot of of like uh, you know he calls them indie test drives or whatever, and he may not do a whole series on them, but he de- he definitely like sort of scopes out and checks out brand new um, like indie games. And um, I'm always like, oh, cool, what is this? You know, I want to see what it is. And even if I only watch a couple minutes of it, um, you know, I usually go and check it out and see what's going on. So I would encourage a lot of you guys, if you're bored, if you're looking for more stuff, um, especially in between things, like if I'm not uploading Minecraft uh, or haven't that yet that day or whatever, like today, because like the Minecraft files usually always comes out a little bit late just because I happen to be pretty busy. Um, and you're bored and you're like, oh, man, I want to watch some chimney stuff, but I but he keeps uploading the Sonic. Maybe just be like, hey, what's this all about? And see if it's for you. If it's not, then it's not. Not a big deal. So, um, I need some glass. And I think all my glass is in here. Hey, buddy, what's going on? I think all my glass is in here. Yeah, look at this. All this. I cooked this up before the thing. Because that's the other thing I was doing. I was running around going out to the desert collecting mad sand so I can get some glass and stuff. It was intense. A couple hours to prep for one freaking video. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. But um, let's see here. Let's go back up here. I like this like little back door entrance thing. And I keep snacking on melon because it seems to be the only like reliable source of food that I have right now. Um, due to the fact that like all my animals are kind of scarce. And I am growing them underground in that like... Um, the breeding facility, uh, but there's no grass down there right now, and I need to put some grass down there so that the sheep can regrow their wool, because I would love to do some stuff. Uh, you know what? You know what? I'd like to use panes for this house instead, so we just wasted a bunch of glass. Hooray! Um, but I need, uh, you know, the sheep that they, they regrow their wool uh, by sort of munching on the grass or whatever, and I would like to, um, I would like to to bring some of that down there for them so that they can they can essentially regrow their wool um, and I don't have to keep like you know breeding them and then taking it off the the newly bred sheep because that's just a pain in the butt so um, I will have to do that very very soon and just sort of reroute the the grass from the land down there it's gonna oh dang it wait you you can recover these I know that what you can't anymore wait no! When did they do that? You used to be able to get the glass panes back, didn't you? I thought you did. Maybe he took that out in the 1.1. Oh, that's dumb. Man. You know, window people, they come to people's houses all the time and remove their windows. It's called window replacement. They don't just break it. Come on, I want that. That's, oh, that's bummer. I'm bummed out. Bummed out. Okay, so here we go. This is just going to uh, just about do it for us today. However, I need you guys' feedback for this building. And the beginning of next episode, I will just name it. I won't, like, you know, I might put some finishing touches on it. Um, you know, this, uh, what, like, between episodes or whatever. But this is the building. Uh, it's very window-like. Wow. Uh, hmm. Let me see here. What do I want to put in the windows? Sort of, sort of block it off. I kind of liked what I did over there with the windows and how I had, the, how I had like, um, you know, these little trap doors on the, the bricks. So I might do something similar. You might be in luck. This episode may not be over yet. All right, let's grab those, and let me see what. Let me see what these wooden planks look like. Uh, so we'll do... There we go. It's just something like this. Ah. Get there. There we go. Ah, oh, that looks cool. I like it a lot. Yes. All right. Sweet. We found the we found the the right pattern that we want for this one. All right. Cool. 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 All right. So I'm gonna make some more 
trap doors. And let's do that. Come over here. And we're going to break out this one, this one, and this one, this one, this one, and this one. Right there. And place this down. Like that. There we go. And I'm going to do the same thing back here, except for this one. We're just going to do one row. Like that. So I'm going to only need two more of the um, trapdoors. There we go. And voila. Nice. All right. So for anybody that's out there that was like, uh, that was saying that the, the Sky District is, is, you know, weird or whatever, it's taking shape. And I will credit you guys, and I know a lot of you guys had said in the last video that you didn't like, you liked how it looked up here, but you didn't like how it looked down here. And I'm going to kind of agree with you until I sit here and look at it like this. And I feel like when I look at it from this angle right here, I just think it looks really cool. Like, I don't know. There's just something about it. Like somebody had said on the on the, the comments, they had said that they didn't like it because it was, you know, it was a breath of fresh air up top. But then down here, it's kind of like dark and mysterious. But that's what I wanted to go for. That's the, kind of like the look that I was trying to go for. Um... And sort of make get a little jungle, like kind of jungle oriented down here, and um, a little bit more modern and an upscale up in the sky district, um, and sort of have like kind of like the just the, the rats crawling down below and and whatever. But here's the cool part: is when we go out here in the water, you guys can check this out here. Let me turn this boat around. Hey, turn that boat around! All right, this looks is starting to look pretty cool. And the skyline is going to look really, really nice as we start to fill in some of these gaps, like this little gap right here where this building, uh, where we could put another building here. Um, but I think that this place is going to look so cool when we're done. I think maybe even another tall building too in, in the middle of the sky district would be kind of nice. Um, or maybe even just a park in the middle. Oh, are you serious? I broke my boat. No. Uh, maybe, uh, I definitely want to put a park in there. Um, just uh, maybe with some trees and things uh, I think that I think that would look nice so leave your comments below as well ideas and things for the sky district uh, as for next week I'm thinking about changing things up I don't want to do um, a big build next week so so please give me your suggestions as well I need them I need them I need them and um, and hopefully I can do some more smaller uh, you know like kind of one one episodes you know, builds instead of these like week long big builds that I've done the last two weeks. Um, so let me know you guys and uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And um, oh, we didn't even get to the next couple questions. We got two questions left. How could I forget? Holy crap. All right, we've got two questions. This one is from X the Ninja one and his question is what what's your day job? Well, the answer to that question is this. This is my day job. My day job is entertaining you guys, making videos for you guys, and uploading them to YouTube. And without you guys, I uh, I wouldn't have this job. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Final question. This one comes from Mr. Canadian Aviator, and his question. And I may have answered this before in a um, in a Q and A video. But this question is, uh, how did you come up with the name, the Minecraft Files, and when I started my channel back in February of last year, I was just sort of tossing around some ideas of things that I wanted to, wanted my, my series to be kind of in my head. And the one thing that just stuck out to me was the Minecraft files. And I felt like it kind of, it was kind of catchy. It kind of like, it kind of rang. It kind of had a nice little like, you know, it, it sounded good, I guess. It sounded good to me. And so that's what I, uh, that's what I came up with. Whee! So, anyways, you guys, that concludes TQF. We'll be back again next Friday for another episode. And, of course, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like below. Let's see if we can pass 5,000 likes. That should be our goal this week. It should be super easy. I've got, like, 125,000 subscribers. It should be so easy to get that many likes. But, um... Anyways, you guys, I will inform you when the new episode is out on Machinima Realm. Like I said, it could be anywhere from a week to two weeks. Um, but I will let you guys know. 
So anyways, thank you so much for watching. Once again, my name is Trini Swift, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.